80 and this one is number 76 in the area which is south of the South Atlantic in the in the Weddell Sea it's called. This iceberg is around 4,320 square kilometers uh, with uh, dimensions of 170 kilometers long uh, by 25 kilometers wide and so if we try and imagine the scale of this we're talking about something of the order of size of the island of Mallorca that's about 41 times the size of Paris uh, or approximately 73 times the size of Manhattan and so you know these kind of events do capture the public eye uh, and, and it generates attention it'll eventually escape from the Weddell Sea that journey might take uh, up to a few years because it'll drift rather slowly um, and it might even have become grounded in one location or another before it finally escapes into the South Atlantic where it'll be touched by warmer waters, it'll experience a, a high wave environment and it'll undoubtedly um, fracture and disintegrate once it um, arrives in those relatively warmer uh, climes and, and, and water um, where the melting will take its toll eventually. We've seen icebergs that can last up to um, 18 years that have been tracked around Antarctica if they remain in relatively cold waters. Uh, but there's no appreciable impact on sea level rise from the iceberg itself. It's more the impact that carving of large icebergs have on uh, the flow of the glaciers feeding the ice shelves. Ultimately, it's the loss of ice from Antarctica outwards into the ocean, which is what we're concerned about. And, and as we've been talking about, as we upset this balance, uh, then that's resulting in uh, what could be potentially much larger discharges of ice uh, and losses of ice from Antarctica in the future. And, 